Hello, this is Paler Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Breath of the Wild Master Mode. So, last time we beat um, Vaum Meadow and Wind Blight and did some uh, shrine quests. So, we need to grab that. Uh, in order to do so. Oh yeah, we also got this uh, rubber armor. One second. I think my uh, air conditioning is gonna turn on. Oops. It is not going to turn on. Let's see. All night. Link, my cuckoos. Excuse me, my sweet little baby cuckoos. They're all back. Thank you so much, really. I, I could never thank you enough. This isn't much, but I insist you take it. I'm ready to get out there again. Though I do wish my wife would come back to me, just like my cuckoos did. Okay, somewhere... No, but it's not you. Ah. I swear I tried to talk to you earlier. Hello, Firefly. They say the roads are dangerous at night, so I have to come straight home without searching for fireflies. I miss them so much in the night sky. Now it's the same tired thing every night. I'm so sick of it. If only the fireflies would come to play here so I could still see them. Yes. If only... Oh, wow, look at the fireflies. Thank you. This is all I have to offer, but please accept it with my gratitude. They glow so prettily, it's magical. You're pretty too. Hee <laughs> hee, thanks. Huck. 
There we go. Okay. Anyway. Hmm? Do you need something? I haven't seen you around here before, but there's something so familiar about that face of yours. You're impressive. Oh yes, I remember now. It was long ago when the calamity hit, but you look just like the swordsman who was trying to stop it. That was me. Say what now? You're really the same swordsman from way back when. Wah! Don't tell me that sword is... The blade... It can only be wielded by the hero of legend, the sword that seals the darkness. <laughs> Aha! My goodness. You had me going, but that's not very likely, is it? You see, the thing about that swordsman is... He trained with swift carrots instead of a blade. He strengthened his body with a diet made entirely of swift carrots. And he tempered his soul with the sweet aroma of swift carrots, too. That's what my grandfather always used to say, anyway. So I suggest you stop joking around all the time and instead have a carrot and try to be more like the swordsman. Oh. Looking for carrots? You can buy some over at my old lady's shop. If you want to be strong like that legendary swordsman, I surely don't mind lending a hand. Okay. No, stop. I really. I don't know why it is that I just like instinctively pull on the trigger for no reason. Okay, yeah. Alright, we're almost done. This is awful. Link. I swear I only took my eyes off it for a second. What should I... What should I do? What's wrong? The Sheikah heirloom. The heirloom has been stolen. And just when I had finally discovered the heirloom's secret... The hero, as chosen by the Sheikah heirloom, will be gifted the blessing of antiquity. Paya thinks the hero, as chosen by the Sheikah Heirloom, is you. So she stayed up all night researching the heirloom. She came to the conclusion that the Blessing of Antiquity refers to one of those ancient shrines. And that the heirloom is the key that opens the shrine. And just before we were able to tell you this, the thing is stolen. I had been cleaning the heirloom regularly every day from morning to dusk. Someone must have stolen it during the deepest hour of the night. This place is off limits to outsiders, and no one from the village would do such a thing, would they? Someone with evil intent came into this sacred place. I'm glad Grandmother is safe, but I still feel so... violated. Link. Paya is afraid that the thief may still be nearby. Would you please stay by her side today? <sighs> Master Link, thank you for staying by my side for the whole day. I see now that crying and feeling scared won't help us get the heirloom back. I checked with Dorian and Kato, but they said they didn't see anyone other than villagers around. 
I'll try again to remember all I can about the night the heirloom was stolen, but the thief may still be hiding nearby. I have a bad feeling. If you don't, if you spot any suspicious movement at night, don't approach. Okay. Well, it is now night. That filthy thief. Me and Dorian were standing guard the entire time. How did they get past us? The only people we let through were known villagers. Villagers? Yes, known villagers are free to come and go as they please. I think the only people that stopped by around the time the heirloom went missing were Lasley and Melly. They used to come around noonish, but lately they've been stopping by at night. They must be too busy to stop by during the day. But who could have stolen the heirloom? There were some people visiting the manor, but they were all known villagers. I don't remember seeing anyone suspicious. Who came by? The only people who came by yesterday were... Leslie from the clothing shop and Grandma Melly from the plum garden. That's about it. I didn't see anyone else. Yeah. How convenient. We're open every day, prepare to be enchanted. Nighttime activities? Excuse me? It's none of your business what I do at night. Maybe think about finding a new pickup line. Lazily's house. Naturally. You caught me orange-handed. Yes, I'm a big fan of carrots, but my old man hates them. So sometimes I sneak out at night to get my fill. Please don't tell my husband. Where's the heirloom? You mean that garish thing in Im Impa's house? Did you steal it? <laughs> Is that any way to talk to an old woman? I almost choked on my carrot. Impa gave me the plum tree orchard, and yes, the orchard may be an heirloom of this village, but it's technically mine. You young people.
Ah! I guess I can't keep it a secret any longer. Not even Clary knows. This is where the love of my life sleeps. No other guy has been able to stack up. He passed a long time ago, but I come here every now and then to be with him. Where's the heirloom? Heirloom? You mean that thing in Impa's house? Did you steal it? What? Why would I steal something like that? Are you... Are you following me because you think I'm a suspect? How awful of you. This is... He got a... Oh. He got attacked by a monster and he promised he would always protect me. I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks, I guess. But next time, try to be a little more sensitive to people you don't know. Everyone has their own issues to deal with. Huh. Yeah, I don't think I ever heard that line and I didn't... I didn't, uh, ask a second. Question to Melly. You caught me. I simply can't get enough of the bittersweet and nutty flavor that lies beneath its fiery exterior. There is no greater food. But seeing how those two are acting, I'm not about to admit to having a love affair with carrots. Right. I'm counting on you not to tell my old man about this. Okay, I must do something. All right, we're almost done with this quest. I know you're there. Show yourself. <laughs> you don't have to shout. I'm right here. So you're the ones who stole the heirloom. <laughs> Such anger. It seems this whole... It seems this... Ah, wow. It seems this thing is truly special to the fools of this village. 
Why would you steal it? Don't play dumb, Dorian. You knew what you were getting yourself into when you decided to leave the organization. You forfeited your life the moment you left. Aww. You did well to tell us about the heirloom. Unfortunately, your usefulness has come to an end, as must you, but first... It appears we have an audience. Yes. Let's, uh... I guess this is the same. Oh. Let's finish this, yes. I wasn't trying to leave. I'm not trying to l let him go. <laughs> I can't believe I was being followed. I'm sure you figured it out, but all of this is my fault. There's no point in trying to hide it. I am... a member of the Yiga clan. Or I used to be, anyway. But then I met the most incredible woman who blessed me with two amazing children. And so I tried to change my ways, tried to leave the clan. But the Yiga? They took my wife's life as punishment. I couldn't let them hurt my children, so I used my position as gatekeeper to gather information for the Yiga. I told them about you and about the village in exchange for safety. But my grief over, leaving, over losing my wife consumed me, and I finally decided to cut ties with the Yiga completely. I decided I could protect my children from the Yiga. I wasn't afraid of them. But the Yiga are pure evil. They told me they would kill both Impa and Paya if I didn't play along. Paya figured out that this heirloom is the key to opening an ancient shrine. We weren't able to make it work, but Paya thinks that maybe you can. Paya and all of us are devoted to helping you in your quest. Now, please restore this heirloom to its pedestal. The shrine. So the heirloom was the key to opening the shrine. Incredible. Master Link, I... I'm very sorry for all of this. I know it's a selfish request, but do you think you could keep what really happened a secret? I truly don't deserve mercy, but I don't want my children, Coco and Kala, to suffer anymore. I know it doesn't make up for what I've done, but I pledge to protect the village and my family from now on, no matter the cost. Oh, 
Nice. Oh, Master Link, because I wasn't there, the heirloom, our precious Sheikah heirloom. Oh, <laughs> let me, let me. Because I wasn't there, the heirloom, our precious Sheikah heirloom. Actually. What? Oh, so that means the heirloom has finally fulfilled its purpose. Thank goodness. It doesn't matter how it happened, so long as the object we have guarded preciously for generations. So long as it was able to help you out in some way, I couldn't be happier. I pray that the protection of the gods of old follows you wherever you go. <gasps> Master Link! Whatever is the matter at this hour, dark magic preys upon the land when darkness falls. Please, promise to take care. Ah, I see. So you've gained the power of Ravali. I thank you for freeing one of the Divine Beasts from Calamity Ganon's control. But there are others still. Ravali's power is that of wind. It will prove to be most useful. Still, the Divine Beast Vanaboros remains. That one was controlled by Urbosa of the Gerudo. Divine Beast Varuda also remains. That one was controlled by Mipha of the Zora. Divine Beast Varudanya also remains. That one was controlled by Daruk of the Gorons. Yeah, so we're doing the Boris next because it's... Yeah. Uh, we should be able to find the general location of remaining to find me soon. Yeah, we're doing the Morris next because, uh, we don't want, like, the longer... So, each, each Divine Beast, well, yeah, each Divine Beast you take, uh, the boss has more and more health. So, uh, completing the Boris will mean we have Yiga after us. The rest of the game, but I think that's easier than dealing with Naboris at a high level when... Yeah, when we're on Master Mund and it can regenerate its health, so...
You are Princess Zelda's only hope in Hyrule, so as well, you cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Yes, 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 okay. All right. Okay. I don't want to talk to people without my without the master sword on. Now I can travel here when that has refreshed. So while we're waiting, let's take a look at the map and see. What else is available?
Oops. I mean, icy meat has its benefits, but Pressing the trigger. Yeah, the ice wolves are really nice because they drop a lot of gourmet meat. And you can sell that for a lot of rupees. I was trying to do. Let's see. I don't think I'm carrying a torch. Unfortunately. So a spear, you dodge sideways. 
If I can... Just keep it from regenerating. <sighs> oh, yeah. Uh, Cora was definitely worth it. No. I was trying to cancel. Okay, I guess that's not gonna... I keep trying to lock on with that. Okay, nope. Wait, why did I even come down here? Oh yeah.
Okay, well that I was not expecting. That's good. Oh, right, I have a flame blade I could have been using. Forgot about that. And also, now what? Like... Now we have these two items on there. And they're completely inaccessible. was supposed to <laughs> I think okay let's try this That's good. Okay. 
Well, the entire reason I went off to do that right at the moment was because I needed my Master Sword to recharge. But now I need it to recharge again. <laughs> uh... Let's see. We do have one kind of over here.
Oh, I'm going the wrong way. So I keep heading for red for some reason. When I mean to head for yellow. Of course, it's a major test of strength. Of course it is. Okay. Well, we have our Master Sword back, so... I'll make sure to get into Gerudo Town even if it means dressing like a woman, no matter what. matter you've got this look on your face that almost screams i gotta talk to you right now suspicious vendors a suspicious merchant huh from my point of view pretty much any merchant that isn't garuda looks suspicious you realize still yeah i can think of someone the guy up on the roof that one vi merchant in full garuda garb she frequents the general store a lot I'm sure there must be more to her story, but what do I know? Plus, I'm not going to poke my nose in another's business. Mm. 
Yeah, you're the one that we recruit later. Who are you? Uh, you, you're a Vo, aren't you? I am. Why? Hmm, no. I bet Mama wouldn't... I bet Mama would have a problem with a delicate Vo like you. Oh yes, I'm Ronson. Ronson. I hail from Gruta Town. The search for the love of my life. I'm so exhausted by it. Search? <sighs> I don't know why I'm even saying this. It's no business of a Hylian like you, but... I'm constantly being bothered by my mother over not having found the love of my life. Why the rush? Mm -hmm. You don't know? Really? It's incredibly rare for a male to be born to the Gerudo. For our own survival as a people, we travel to find husbands. I've, re I've proven myself to be a gifted tailor, but none of the Vel I've met seem to appreciate a well-hemmed garment. I was hoping my craft would help me find a mate. But it doesn't seem like there's much work for a tailor around here. I wonder if there really is someone out there for me. Yeah, we'll do that at some point. Okay, let's let's just go onto the roof. Ah. My, what a lovely young lad you are. Do you need something from me? Hmm? What's that? You've heard about a man who snuck into Gerudo Town? Mm. Oh, I don't know anything about him. Sorry, could be more help. Squint suspiciously. Oh. <laughs> You're making my cheeks warm looking at me like that. You're a man? Mm. Oh my. You sure say the funniest things, young man. Anyway, if you don't need anything, you should be off, then. Oh. Well, well, you still haven't given up on your search for the man who snuck into Gerudo Town? I told you I didn't know anything. Do you always doubt someone's word? Study your face. Mm. You're making me my cheeks warm when looking at it like that. You're very beautiful? Oh, such a nice thing to say, and I'm sure you'd agree that these clothes only help my looks, right? Now that I think about it, the style would look quite fetching on you. I'd have to charge you, of course, but I bet people would see you completely differently if you wore them. What do you think? Do you want to buy them for 600 rupees? No thanks. Oh dear, that's too bad. Let me know if you change your mind. Well, the only issue is... I don't have 600 rupees presently. Hmm? Oh, Vasak. I want to sell. I'll take them. Oh. It's a deal then, I'll take your rupees now. Mm. I have the perfect outfit for you. Go ahead and change into it right now, don't worry, I'll look away. Uh.
<laughs> you look adorable. Ah, oh. hee uh, hee. Just as I thought, you make for a quite good looking gal. That's a traditional Gerudo outfit. It's such a striking look around here. I doubt anyone would even suspect you're a man. On top of that, it breathes so well that it's sure to help you deal with the desert heat. At least a little. I'm so glad I was able, able to help you out. You're free to grab something to eat sometime. Oh, if you're free to grab something to eat sometime, keep me in mind. Huh. Make sure you watch out for the wind. If you want to get more ladies clothing, come back anytime. <sighs> Bye. Are you seeking out the love of your life as well? Yes. Well, good luck to both of us. I wonder if there really is someone out there for me. Hmm? Those clothes. They look really good on you. Anyway, can I help? Um. I wanna buy, I only sell arrows. That's fine. Oh. Huh? Ah. Oh. One arrow of each type. That's. Savak, mm. a divine beast. It feels like it gets a little bit closer every day. I wonder how long it will be before I can get back to Gerudo Town. Divine beast. When I say divine beast, I'm talking about that giant thing roaming around the desert. It's been kicking up bad sandstorms, and apparently it'll blast you with lightning if you get too close. The thought of getting zapped is terrifying. I can't risk traveling to Gerudo Town. Didn't you buy that outfit at Gerudo Town? It's the largest settlement in these parts. It's got a lively market and a canteen. The town's active at all hours. The Divine Beast has been stomping around and is generally being dangerous, so I can't go back right now. Uh. We've lost a lot of business ever since that Divine Beast started stomping out in the desert. The sound of the Divine Beast walking might be loud, but the beds are still comfy. Do you want to stay? Uh, never mind. Uh. You know, those clothes look quite nice on you. Even on close examination, you look every bit the fine vi. Yeah. Aww. You're an oddball for wanting to wear Gerudo outfits. Anyway, you still need anything else from me? Buy my stuff. Why do you even come here to do that? Yeah, the old the old people just are not fooled at all. Hi. Hello there. Oh. But before I say any more, have we met before? I came here from Rito Village. I've been there. Ah. ah, it must have felt quite cold to you, didn't it? I had a great plan, you know. I left Rito Village to try and earn some money out in the world. But it's so incredibly hot here during the day. It's been tough to work up the will to go any further. I would like to see what Gerudo Town looks like. Even if I can't go inside, it's just so hot. I heard there is an elixir that can help beat the heat. It's made from insects with cooling effects and monster parts. But they don't seem to be selling the elixir anywhere. I've heard insects with those cooling effects live in the cold parts of the Gerudo Highlands, but... Well, the monsters there are rough, to say the least, so I'm not having a lot of success getting myself motivated.
Oh, we do have a chili elixir. Oh, could it be? Here's an elixir. Oh. Thank you. Now I can get across the desert while it's still light out. Here, let me give you something in return. Ah. By the way, in Gerudo, thank you is Sarkso. Sarkso! I don't know that that was worth it. Good day. Heh, I thought you say it where you're from, isn't it? Here we say Savak. I have things to sell. Oh, sure thing. So what do you want to sell me? Come back anytime, okay. Let's uh go over to Gerudo Town. I think you're the one that sell, or that, yep, okay. Hey, I need to talk to you. I need to, uh, extort you. Savak. So, so yeah, hey, the name's Bozai. I'm 35 single and I love jogging, especially on sand. Yeah, everyone says I'm tenacious as a tick, and I think some of them meant it in a nice way, too. So, so you out here on your own? Pretty rough and tumble place. Wanna hang out with me for a while? Nice sand jogging. <laughs> ah, you notice these old things? Yeah, they're my sand boots. They allow me to traverse the desert without being slowed down at all, so jogging is a breeze. If you'd like to check them out, we could grab a quiet corner and give me the boots. Huh? Oh, well, here's the thing. These sand boots are super rare, and I'd happily give them to you, but... Wait, this is a golden chance to woo. I mean, sure, I'd love to give them to you, you hungry little boot monster, but first a favor. Ever heard the legend of the eighth heroine? Eighth heroine? Ah. Everyone's heard the legend in the Gerudo re region about the seven heroines, but some of them tell of an eighth heroine. Wiped clean from the history, clean from history, and no one knows why or how. A phantom heroine known to to all but seen by none. I've been taken with the legend since I was a child. Find her. Show me the eighth heroine and I'll give you these sand boots. What do you say? I'll go look. Uh, yes. Hmm. <clears throat> According to those who idolize the eighth heroine, she's enshrined somewhere in the Gerudo Islands. Apparently they even have a nickname for her. The bronze giant, Ketchy. Beyond that, I really don't know much. Who knows, there might be someone in Gerudo Town who knows more about the legend of the seven heroines. Maybe that info would help. I don't know. Anyway, draw a picture or something if you find her, then show me. I'm pretty picky about pictures too. If you got one, make sure it's at least make sure at least the statue's upper half is visible, okay? Oh, and here. If you'd like, you can use these. I'm sure they'll come in handy. Besides, you seem really into boots. The Gerudo Highlands are covered in deep snow, so it's hard to walk, right? Everyone knows that. But with these snow boots, you can walk through snow like it was flat ground. No, you can eat, walk even faster than that. No one makes these anymore, so they're extremely valuable. As such, you can't keep them, okay? Many have investigated the 8th heroine, but it's an inscrutable legend, an unsolved and possibly unsolvable puzzle. And as Miss Boots spins her wheels on it, we'll grow closer and closer, and then... Uh. <laughs> yeah. 
yet, except for I'm not a mess. Sabak. Sabak. This is Gerudo Town, Hyrule's largest trading hub. Only Vi are permitted entry within the walls, and we're constantly on alert for anyone who looks suspicious. Sorry, Vi? Not Vi, Vi. Bite your bottom lip as you say it. It translates woman in your language. As long as we're on the subject, Vo is our word for man. If you plan to stay a while, you do well to learn the language. Savak. Savak. We don't get a whole lot. We don't get a lot of Hylian Vi around here. Welcome to Gerudo Town. It is an old tradition here that only Vi are allowed within the walls. Vo are strictly forbidden. Take your time here. Vo? Vo is a word in the Gerudo language that means man. There are many other Gerudo words, and if it. and it would help. To, wow, and it would help to learn them if you plan on entering Gerudo Town, but you should at least remember Vo and Vi. Vi? Vi is a word for in the Gerudo language that means woman. There are many. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. No. Here's a tip: if you stop by the canteen, do yourself a favor and order a noble pursuit. It's hands down the best drink I've ever had. Okay. <clears throat> Sabak. Sabak. Great, you got the last of my free time with that greeting. What's the matter? I manage a shop that specializes in handmade accessories, but I've run out of flint. I need it to make my items. If only I had ten. Just ten. If some kind of I would give me ten pieces of flint, I could offer a nice reward. Mm. I can dream all I want, though. Nothing goes that smoothly in the real world. Accessories? I use rubies, sapphires, and other gems to make accessories. Each gem type has its own power that can transfer to whoever wears it. Mm. There's nothing I can do about not having any flint, though. Okay, so she... Oh. I'm sorry they came all the way to see me for nothing. Yeah. Right, okay, I guess it doesn't even, okay. Mm. Jewels, huh? This is an accessory shop, isn't it? I don't see any accessories on display. Are they op not open yet? if I'd be able to work if a kind gener generous vi were to give me 10 pieces of flint though. Here's some flint. Uh... What? You're just giving these to me? Sarkso! But I can't take this all from you with just a Sarkso. We hardly know each other and you've been so nice. The shop's been closed so long, I can I hardly have any inventory. Oh, of course. Now that I have some flint, I can make a jeweled accessory for you if you're interested in something. Uh, ruby? Rubies have the power of cold resistance. Oh, yes. Yes, please. We need heat resistance. <laughs> Brand new, especially for you. I think it turned out really well. Just don't tell my other customers, okay? Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I mean... Yeah, so that's some free heat resistance. We do have this one as well. All 
Alright, you can come in. Oh. Greta, hey, I haven't seen your face around here before. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like we've got ourselves, uh, ourselves a rare visitor. I guess I have a suspicious mind, so maybe you don't ask too many questions and I won't either. You're a member here now, so thanks for your patronage. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> my voice is just shot at the moment, and we can't do a whole lot until after we beat Naboris, as per usual. Tracy. What is it, ma'am? As you can see, I'm busy gathering information. Information? Huh? Ma'am, don't tell me you don't know who I am. Uh -huh. No way, you've never heard of the rumor mill either? I've heard of it. <sighs> Ooh, thank goodness. You told me you'd never heard of Hyrule's most popular news publication, Rumor Mill. Mill. Well, I don't know how I'd have taken that news. It would have hurt, that's for sure. I'm Tracy yourself, you know. Hey now, get that wishy-washy garbage out of here, once more with conviction. Oh. Truth is, I'm Tracy herself from the rumor mill. <gasps> I suppose that works. Anyway, I hope you enjoy reading rumor mill. I take pride in my work. Oh. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Oh, seems you have something rather interesting there. You stand before Lady Riju, Chief of the Gerudo, declare your business, but come no closer. Hold on, Buliara. This one appears to be more than a common traveler. You there, what is your name? Link. And what is it you've come all the way here to tell me, Link? I can calm the Boris. You think you have what it takes to subdue something so powerful as a divine beast? The only ones who could ever control them were champions like Lady Arbosa. And of all the champion oh, and all the and all of the champions died in the calamity a hundred years ago. Hmm. hmm. Buliara, a memory just jumped into my head. Something my mother spoke of. When the Calamity happened, the Princess of Hyrule placed a fallen swordsman into a deep sleep. That swordsman, much like our new friend here, was named Link, though it always seemed more legend than fact. Hmm. What of the device on this one's hip? It appears to be a precious relic of the Sheikah. I can't imagine they would give something so valuable to a simple drifter, can you? I don't remember ever hearing of Hylian Vi among the champions. Oh. Wait a moment. You are a Vo. <laughs> a Vo within our walls is a great crime, but a Vo who is a champion? Well, we'd never mistreat a friend of Lady Arbosa. And if you're here to help us with Naboris, then we are allies. Huh? 
You saw it on your way to our town. Divine beast Fauna Boris cloaked in a massive sandstorm, hurling lightning at any who dare approach. We have to do something to stop it, but we have yet to find any way to appease the divine beast on our own. If you truly are a champion, perhaps you will be able to enter Naboris and calm its anger. Mm. Lady Riju, I don't see how you can trust a complete stranger with something as important as this task. Perhaps if this person were first to prove his worth by, re by recovering your stolen thunder helm. Mm. Ah yes, an interesting suggestion. You see, there is only one thing in all of Hyrule that can withstand the lightning from Naboris. The Thunderhelm, a family heirloom and relic of the Gerudo. But, as Buliara says, it was stolen from us. You needn't worry, Lady Riju. If he truly is a champion, this should be an easy task for him. Oh. Our soldiers can tell you all you need to know about the thieves who stole Lady Riju's heirloom. Head through this arch. It will lead you to the barracks. Then, seek out Captain Teak and ask for a full report. Hmm. Without my heirloom, you'll never be able to approach Naboris. <laughs> uh, you know, I take heart in having such a rare visitor as yourself. Lady Urbosa must be looking out for us. Okay. I already know. Oh. Halt! Once you have permission, you'll stay right there. I don't care who you are. Savak. <clears throat> Savak. Oh. I, I finally found the vow of my dreams, and I just recently married him. I thought I had finally found happiness, mm. but then my husband fell ill with a rare disease, one difficult to cure. The only thing that can save him is the innards of a Molduga. But I would never have be able to take down such a creature myself. I asked the soldiers for help, but they said they have serious issues to deal with. They said they had no time for my plight. They turned me away. But then, why wouldn't they? The Mulduga is a menacing beast. None who faced one escape unscathed. So perhaps it's foolish to expect anyone to stick their neck out for a stranger. I thought I'd finally gotten out of this town. Never thought I'd have to come crawling back. Mulduga? Ugh. The Mulduga is a monster, a terror so savage that even other monsters won't approach it. It's often been spotted west of here in the Toruma Dunes and in the south. It's very sensitive to, to vibrations, and it tends to attack anything that draws near. Mm. You can't approach it, or even move near it, and you can't use someone as bait. So, what am I to do? All right. Mm. All right, so we need to... We need to go here. What if? No, but then... Hmm? Hmm. Ah, forgive me. I was lost in a song written by my late teacher. He wrote it for the hero who fell to the calamity a hundred years ago. So much time has passed, and yet the hero 
has not yet returned, but my teacher always kept faith. I hope to play the song for the hero someday, so I practice it often. Oh, forgive me. Seems I prattled on. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it. Oh. Excellent. Without further ado. As light shines from northwest skies, from the tower's shadow an arrow flies. Pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. I still don't quite understand the lyrics, but knowing my teacher, they're the key to revealing a secret. Best of luck, and may the light illuminate your path. Uh... Yeah. We have to do it sometime between, sometime shortly after noon, I think. So, we'll grab that, but a little later. Keep it on our list. Thank <laughs> you. 
Why am I pressing the wrong button every time? Yeah, that's really bad timing for this to be at night, actually. Just keep going. Oh, I can't until I beat you. Gotcha. I are you closed? Maybe I have to beat all of them? Place this with a triple. Thank you. 
Really? So maybe having beaten all of them, it'll be open now. Hopefully. It's still closed. Why? Why is this closed? Okay, one second. I'm not finish accepting my quest. Maybe that's the problem. Oh yeah, I need to talk to the guards. They tell me the whole location, that's why.
What's with you? How am I supposed to enjoy eating with you staring at me? Buzz off. What are you doing in here? This is the barracks for the chief's guards, not a place for tourists to gather. We're on high alert after the recent theft, so you should clear out. Ooh. What? Willyara sent you. Ooh. My apologies. I'm the officer in charge of the soldiers, Captain Teak. The chief's heirloom was stolen by thieves belonging to the Yiga clan the other day, so everyone is on edge. Nah. We've determined that the Yiga hideout is in the Carusa Valley, but... The soldiers are all exhausted, so I was just thinking about requesting some extra help. Oh. Hey everyone, listen up. This Hylian Vi has agreed to help us, so offer her any information you can. Oh. Consider yourself a part of our unit. If you have any questions, my troops will be happy to help. So about uh, hmm. my husband was the first foe to tell me I was beautiful. I love him so. And so I must find someone who can bring me those Mulduga guts no matter what. Yeah. Huh. In a region of extreme heat. Please be careful, yeah. Anyway. Let's travel up here again.
Well, I'm not gonna... I think the drill is more valuable because of what it can do to, uh... Taluses and the like. Hey, what are you doing here? This is the hideout of those Yiga thieves who stole the hundred Thunder Helm. If they spot you, they'll call their friends for sure. There's no way you can take them all on. Mm. If only you had some way of distracting them, but I don't know how. All I ever see them do is patrol and eat bananas. I haven't seen anything else that you can, that you can ex Wow. I haven't seen anything else that you could exploit as a weakness. Listen, this place is dangerous. You should get out of here while you can. I can take care of myself. Wow. Okay, so now what we can do... Excuse me.
Yeah, I guess you can. It would have made it easier. So something you can do is if you are caught and you fast travel away. Well, actually, let me just show you. They'll all follow you. Or they'll all head out to look for you. I was hoping I could just put the uh, fast travel point inside their base. But it's fine. Anyway, so then if you go back, they'll have all gone away and look to look for you. Unless... Unless they modified that in a patch or something. Oh, I guess I had this right here. I could have skipped all of this. Oh, never mind. Maybe it doesn't. This has been a couple of years since. So maybe it, it doesn't work anymore. If not, it's fine. It's not like it's extremely difficult or anything. Okay. Well, it seems like they fixed that. It used to be you could skip most of this.
Who the heck are you? And what are you doing in my napping spot? Wait a minute. That thing on your hip, is that... Could it be a Sheikah Slate? If it's a Sheikah Slate, then that means... Yeah! It's you! You're that Link guy I've been looking for. What luck! My scouts are out in the field looking high and low, but you just wander into my hideout. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I haven't introduced myself yet. I am the leader of the Yiga clan. The strong, the burly, the one, the only. Master Koga, now prepare yourself. That's right. I remember. Who would have thought I'd be done in like this, and by this guy of all people? You think I'm just gonna let this stand, do you? <clears throat> I almost lost my temper there. <sighs> what a pain. I can't go out this way. What to do, what to do? Ha! I got it. <laughs> I need to bust out my serious moves, a secret technique taught by my father's mother's father. It will destroy you. This is the end. Ahahaha, <laughs> uh-huh. Maybe it's just a tad too big. Are you still over there? Well, no matter. Pretty soon you'll be gone, and not just from my line of sight. Only the leader of the Yiga clan can use the secret technique. Something. Coward, I shall be remembered!
The Eagle Clan will track you to the ends of Hyrule. True. They will. Thunder Helm. Let's see if I can... Thank you. 
I've been waiting for you. Oh, you didn't... Oh, you didn't say a word. As the chief of the Gerudo, I can sense the power of the heirloom flowing from you. I know that you've succeeded. I am, as you have no doubt noticed, still but a child. Hmm. People look on me with nothing but warmth in their eyes, but even this brings me some pain, I must admit. I've tried so hard to be worthy of their love, to be a worthy chief and to prove to myself that I was worthy too. When my family heirloom was stolen, I felt as though a shadow had fallen over me. Yes, your arrival in the midst of all of this must be the work of Lady Urbosa. Now, please give me the helm. Um, how do I look? Well, you certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much, from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today, still as the sands now. 
So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, she's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this ceiling power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... Urbosa! What was that? Did you feel that? Wait, what? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> What's wrong? You're just staring. Anyway, what matters now is... How... how is it? Do I look alright? It, it's a tad big. Hmm. You don't say. The threat Divine Beast Von Aboras poses has only grown since we began searching for the heirloom. I believe that Karuda Town itself may be in danger before too long. As chief and as a Gerudo, I must find some way to stop that thing before it threatens my people. Will you help me? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought that, just before such a momentous battle, hearing a simple, confident pledge of support from you would be what puts me at ease? I'll head out now. Let's meet up at the lookout post south of town. There's only one way to get close to Naboras, and that's with the help of a sand seal. The lookout post isn't too far from town, but you should take a sand seal there. You can get some practice in that way. I'll be waiting for you with my favorite sand seal, Patricia. Hmm. Still, it really is a little big.
Okay, so this is where we, where we want to end up, but before we do that, definitely want to first... Let's see, where is it? believe it's this bridge either that or this one I can't remember. Let's just try to figure it out. Hey, you're welcome. You sound tired. Uh, Isn't that obvious? I'm into horses, so I got a job at the Stable Association, which is great and all, but they dispatched me here in the middle of nowhere, which I can handle, yeah. but they have me working around the clock. I feel so hazy all the time. Sounds rough. If only I could eat some meat for energy. But the stable meals are vegetarian for the most part. <sighs> what I wouldn't do for some fresh-caught raw gourmet meat. Hey, welcome. Yeah. Ooh, that meaty aroma. You don't happen to have any raw gourmet meat on you, do you? I'm no free I'm no freeloader, of course. I'll pay you well if you split it with me. Sure thing. For real? Well, you don't have to tell me twice. I'll take one. Does a hundred rupees work for you? Thanks to you, I'm starting to feel better about this job. I'm gonna really work my hardest. If you get a hold of any more raw gourmet meat, hook me up. Have some meat. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, this is the right spot.
Excuse me. That's not it either. It would be really helpful if I had horse. Do I have the quest for that? No. Oh, yeah. I should do that. Oh, yeah, this is the location. Yep. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll get, I'll get the horse later. Hey, it's you. Did you give the great fairy an offering? Of course. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. It looks like asking you was a good call after all. So that means you met the great fairy, huh? Man, I'm so jealous. <laughs> but hey, at least you got to meet her, and that means technically, I got to make my offering to the great fairy. I can't thank you enough. Forgetting something? Huh? Um, no, I don't think so. Wait, what? You aren't trying to tell me you want a reward, are you? You got to see the great fairy things to my tip, didn't you? And now you're asking for more? Ah, oh, great fairy. Even if it's just in my dreams, won't you appear before me? Dragon appears along here. Every night or midnight, one of the two.
Right, you don't have a midnight option. I keep thinking I do for some reason. Could have been morning instead of night, I suppose. I really do need to get shooting stars if I come across them because they are important for leveling up the ancient armor set. Wait until morning, I guess. Yep, it is morning.
Wait. I don't know if that'll work. And also, I thought I got his horn. Guess not. Yeah, it can be used in cooking. I think any dragon part will work, but... Okay. Yeah, no. It needs to be the horn. Wasn't morning in every location. Why are you shooting at me? Seriously.
There we go. Anyway. Well then, that's what you really look like, huh? Yeah, that's what I really look like. <laughs> With Voban from town, it's not very common for me to see someone like you. What a sight. The fine beast, Vanaboris, is pretty intimidating. Ah. If we want to get close enough to that thing, we'll need to use sand seals. Are you, are you ready? Of course. Feeling confident? Good. Let's get going then. First, we'll use the sand seals to get in real, really close to that thing. I'll take the lead. I'm counting on you to shoot at its feet with bomb arrows. Naboris draws energy from the ground to keep moving. If you damage the feet, I think you can stop it. Those lightning strikes, though, getting hit even once could prove fatal. The Thunder Helm can repel the lightning strikes, protecting me from harm, but it can also shield a limited area around me. You'll have to stay close if you don't want to be shocked. And listen, if you're too injured to keep fighting, promise me you'll retreat here to the lookout post. Don't do anything reckless under any circumstances. Here are some Gerudo bomb arrows. There aren't many, so be sure to put them to good use. This is the last time I'll ask. Are you ready? Uh, of course. Well, if I die, then... Could you give me a bit of room just for a moment? My name is Riju, descendant of the royal line and leader of the Gerudo people. With the power of the heirloom passed down in my family, I shall calm the divine beast Fanaboris. Ancestors of the Gerudo, answer my call. Aid me in this task. Oh wow, I can feel their power coursing through me. Let's move. <laughs> Lady Urbosa, please grant Link and me your protection. Okay, so what we want... Is... First off... A sword to make us... Warmer. What am I doing? And then... As much shock resistance as we can get right now. Let's 
staying inside this circle is hard. Up. Get in! You all right? Nope, I'm not. I'm not because oh, once you're in front of her, it's practically impossible to get back in. Okay, I keep hitting myself with bomb arrows. This is not... Don't wander off. I'm not. Uh... 
Wow. There we go. Just hitting myself with every bomb arrow. Whatever works. Unfortunately, I cannot appease Naboris on my own. I have no choice but to entrust the rest to you. do know how to keep a woman waiting. I can't wait to see you take Noboris back from Ganon. One thing at a time. You'll need a map to find your way around. Head over to that Guidance Stone over there. Sounds easy, right? I wasn't expecting it to go down that easy.
keep trying to do. Okay, where was it again? You know, they literally just spent a bunch of time showing me. Yet somehow... I've already forgotten. Yep, here we go. Good work getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Nabortus are noted by a series of glowing points on your map. Take Nabortus back by activating all of the terminals. You're ready for this. Wrong button. There are four terminals remaining. I'm counting on you.
care. Oh, yeah.
Right. Okay, yeah. There are three terminals remaining. Hang in there. 
been too long it's like I am solving these puzzles for the first time with how long it's been if you mess that one up then I don't think there's a way to get it back so, I'm gonna hold off on that. Oh, wait. I think I remember, maybe? Or I think I figured it out, maybe.
No. I'm like three and a half hours now. I know there's a way to get the neck to extend upward. Five minutes, 19 seconds. Definitely gonna have to cook some more stuff before fighting Thunder Blight. Yeah. <laughs> 
yeah. Right. That's... No! Dang it. There are two terminals remaining. Stay focused. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Just one terminal remaining. You're almost there.
I'm trying to do a... wasn't close enough, I think. Guess it, that one, yeah, that one didn't have a weapon, so of course it wouldn't have.
Oh, I saw it. Whether I can actually get to it is another matter entirely. Well done. That was the last of the terminals. Now, you'll need to start up the main control unit. Take a good look at your map. Head for the glowing moth you see there. You're doing well. But overconfidence can be a deadly foe.
Okay. Before we really dive into this boss, oops. Oh, never mind. I thought we only had like a handful of these. Okay, one second, I'm gonna get the drink of water and then I'll get to this. Okay. This boss is a pain. Stay on your edge, Link. This formidable adversary was made by Gandhi and brought me to a warrior's demise 100 years ago. Do not allow this to be your end. I'll try my best. And it's death. Thing is fast. Watch yourself. Oop, wrong way. No. I don't know why I had that out. Come on. What time? you Wow we're just gonna keep picking the wrong one.
unleash your power. Okay. Okay, apparently you can't break through that when you're doing that. Flurry rush was a little bit harder there in that last phase. I was on the wrong side anyway. item before I clear 
the dungeon. So I can, I think I can just walk out here and up or, or down. Yeah. There's probably an easier way to do this.
Oh, no. Yes. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Lin. Thanks to your valor and skill, my soul is free, and Nobotus is ours once again. Which means that finally, we can complete what we started years ago. We Gerudo have no tolerance for unfinished business. I've waited so long for the moment to see you finally rush Hyrule Castle. As well as for the moment when I incinerate Ganon into a pile of ash. Which reminds me, I wanted to give you a little something. Please accept this gift, which has come to be known as Urbosa's Fury. It will no doubt be of use to you. Heck yeah, well. Uh... Huh. Both you and the princess, I know you have suffered much regarding what happened to us champions. But this is how things had to happen. No one need carry blame. So please, make it clear so she understands that. Tell her to shed any worries. And let her know, I couldn't be more proud of her. You take good care of the princess. Oh. And also, take good care of Hyrule. Legend of the Gerudo, celebrated over ages. And you, who were named to honor her. You are a legend as well. Isn't that right, Nabors? The bitter essence of defeat from a century ago still sits upon my tongue. But that is now in the past. It was written that Calamity Ganon once adopted the form of a Gerudo. And that will make this victory all the more satisfying. I like that. Now I can take this personally. Once we've established a lock on that thing, it will be up to Link to keep Ganon occupied until the moment we unleash our strike. That moment 
is going to be so delicious. <laughs> Oh, you're back. I'm glad you're okay. Truly, I am. Naboris is no longer a threat to the town. I'm still worried about the larger threat to Hyrule, but at least my people won't be troubled by Naboris anymore. I want to offer you these as thanks for your help. I trust you'll accept them. These pieces of equipment are priceless treasures of the Gerudo people. They were once worn by Lady Urbosa. <laughs> Since you and Lady Urbosa were friends, it's only right that you have them. Scimitar of the Seven. And Daybreaker. Nice. Okay. Oh. What? Oh, I wasn't actually trying to... That's the treasure of the Groot of the Thunderhelm. You, be ha you may be held in high esteem, but this does not give you the freedom to lay your hands on the pride of our people. Be calm yourself, Beliera. You desire this helm. I want it. I see, and yet, despite the great debt we owe you, I cannot just give such a precious thing to you. Hmm. But you are again but you are up against the enemy of Lady Urbosa, and if you truly desire it, then perhaps I can lend it to you. Yes, lend it to me. Well then, let's see how serious you are. This helm is a cultural treasure. To earn it, you must gain the trust of our people. I want you to address their concerns and bring resolute peace to our town. We already know that you are powerful, but you can't solve all of my people's problems with power alone. Yeah. Okay, well, that's gonna have to do it for this episode. We have defeated Thunderblight, which is the uh, definitely the most challenging of the bosses. Other than... Actually, yeah, I think that's just the straight up most challenging boss. In normal mode anyway. I guess we'll see how Ganon is and... I guess we'll see how Ganon is when you, uh... When he's regenerating health. But, anyway, when we come back next time, we have a bunch of shrine quests we can take on, and we will probably want to do the quests here in this town so that uh, we can get access to lightning resistant, well, lightning negation, but, uh, yeah. Also, at some point, we're going to want to start looking into it, getting the house. So, until next time, see ya, and bye.